What's up guys, we're back. Today we're gonna be working on the Lexus and uh, we're gonna see if we can't successfully fit a Neon SRT4 seat into that thing. I just got back from Harbor Freight and as you can see, I got quite a bit of stuff going on in here. I'll tell you, it's like the longest receipt I have ever seen in my life from Harbor Freight. And half that shit's just zip ties. <laughs> but, but other than that, let's go ahead and get this stuff out the truck and get to work on that thing. All right, y'all. What I plan on doing today is I'm gonna try and change this factory Lexus seat out. I got that SRT4 seat sitting over there that I got with the uh, white parts car. And uh, it obviously has way more bolstering than the factory Lexus seat. Now this thing is nice, plush, and comfy, but uh, where we're gonna do some drifting with this thing and I'm kind of fat, uh, I really can't fit in like a fixed back bucket seat that I know of right now. So that is my ne next best option. And obviously it's free. So we're going to yank this out. It is four. I already have the bolts out right now. It's just four 14 millimeter bolts. Uh, real simple come out. Um, I did bring a scale. So we're going to weigh them as well just to see if there is a, uh, you know, a weight benefit to swapping these seats out so i would imagine there might be some seeing as that's a manual seat and this is electric power whatever so let me pull this out and uh we'll weigh them out and see oh Let's see. Damn, we can't see it. all right we got 60.6 pounds i don't know if that's accurate this obviously is not the right way to weigh a seat but this is the way i'm going to do it for uh, time purposes Does she feel like 60 <laughs> Right. Looks like we got 41.8 pounds, so so 18 pounds per side, so that's 36 pounds overall. <sighs> Not bad. Alright y'all, so we're going to go ahead and put these seats in, and uh, I'll show you how they look in the car. As you can see, um, hopefully you can see, the seat does sit you a lot lower in the car, so that'll make for a lot more headroom uh, for a helmet and whatnot. As you can see, you still have plenty of room between the door sills and the center console. Um, it feels natural in there. It feels way better in this car than it does the actual Neon, so I'm pretty hype about that. Um, we're definitely gonna have to make some sort of modified brackets to fit it, but that shouldn't really be a problem. I just bent up some flat stock to make a seat rail or a seat bracket for this thing. So I'm gonna try and tack this in place and go from there, so. Let's see if it's stuck. Got her hot. All right, y'all, I went and I grabbed some hardware from Lowe's, some fender washers and stuff like that. Charles said he's done this many times and just threw bolted the seats with these fender washers and uh, it held just fine. And he's a pretty big old boy, so, you know, if it holds him, it should hold me. Granted, I don't have that much faith in it, so I want the seat to be planted. I don't want it to move at all. So this whole method of mounting this thing may or may not work we'll see like i said i want this to be somewhat you know safe as possible and uh what we got going on now i mean we ain't got the back end but there's clearly a lot of movement but once we get that in we'll see how much this thing moves and uh, we'll obviously try and reinforce some stuff where we can weld where we can just to make it safe and uh, we'll go from there as for now i'm going to go ahead and try and crawl up under this try and crawl up under this thing you know there ain't much room but i'm gonna see and make sure there's no uh no lines or anything like that underneath these seat brackets where i'm gonna need to be drilling to through bolt and if not we're in the clear i'm gonna go ahead and send a drill bit down through there and uh i'm probably gonna stack 
washer on top of the plate on the bottom of the plate and one underneath the frame as well just to be sure and uh, we'll see what happens I'll jack this thing up real quick ain't no jack stand so I ain't gonna lay under it but let's see I already drilled one hole right there's where it came through over here we have some probably fuel lines but I'm probably gonna go ahead and send it because I think it's pro judging by the where judging by where this thing came out in correlation with this grommet Let's hope it comes out with that grommet and comes out right in that area. So, fingers crossed. Actually, I'll just go ahead and I'll leave y'all under here. Just so you can see if I mess up or not. <laughs> I guess that's it. I couldn't even tell, but hell yeah. All right, y'all, as you can see here, I got some fender washers, and hopefully y'all can see that well. Put them on top of that, and through bolted them down through the floor. Got another big fender washer on the bottom of it and a nut, and I mean, that thing's pretty solid in there. We'll probably go rip around the parking lot real quick or something like that just to see how it feels. But yeah, I mean... It's mounted in there. It looks pretty solid. It feels pretty solid. I mean, that thing ain't moving. It ain't going nowhere. Uh, slider still works. I can just slide right down in this damn thing. And uh, it's crazy. Just absolutely crazy how, how much lower I sit in the vehicle um, compared to the factory seat. Um, the only issue we might have is, uh, the old shit handle here. I'm not sure why a driver needs an old shit handle, <laughs> but we'll probably have to remove that because it's really close to my head and the helmet will probably hit that. Um, maybe not with it up, but we'll probably go ahead and take that out anyways, just for the hell of it. Also, I ordered some, uh, BC... Uh, cool over spanner wrenches today so I can raise this thing up really didn't want to use screwdrivers on it and be all ghetto Seat feels pretty solid. We'll still probably reinforce it a little bit but I Dig it. I really like it Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna shut the hood on this thing fire it up. Let it warm up a little bit and uh, Probably slide it around just just a couple seconds <laughs> y'all just went ahead and i pulled this seat out of the white car over there uh, it was a pain because the eclipse is so close to it but i snaked it through there and as you can see there's just mold and stuff starting to grow all over this thing uh now there's some more on the sides so so before i go ahead and i put that in the car i went ahead and i picked up some of this stuff scrubbing bubbles uh, i've never used it but i've seen motion auto use it on his f-250 that he gave away and uh, his seats came out really good so we're gonna go ahead and spray this down on the seat and uh, we're gonna get a little brush and start scrubbing this stuff down and see if we can bring this thing back and at least not smell so bad that soak in real good real quick and uh i'll go get a brush and i'll scrub it uh i might even pressure wash it i don't know 
I mean, there's nothing really electronical for it to mess up, so I just really want the mold off this thing. All right, I done a quick little scrub on it and wiped it down. Uh, it looks, I can't, I don't know if it looks better on camera or not, but it looks a lot better than it did to my eye. You know, I got a little, I don't know if it's just a wet spot or, I don't know, a little fade there, a little fade there, but I don't know. We'll see what it looks like once it's dry. It's still a little bit wet, but it don't look too bad. It's actually a pretty good condition seat, but you know, it is a passenger side seat, so they're always somewhat good condition. It should look good in the Lexus though. All right, let's get this passenger side seat out and uh, see what kind of mess this dude left under here for me. They are 14 millimeters. All right, let's go ahead and slide this seat out. We got a little bit of a mess to clean up, but ain't no biggie. Let's see if this lighter works. What is with me finding lighters in cars that don't work? That's sketchy. That's some scissors. It's like poultry scissors. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and we'll toss that other seat in here. She cleaned up fairly decent. I got the other side done as well. Uh, I still need to wipe down everything. It's pretty nasty in here still, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw that other seat in here and see how it looks. All right, y'all, it got dark on me out here. Nah, that's pretty. Don't even look like that to me. <laughs> but, yeah, it got dark, so I'm going to go ahead and end this off here. Seats are in. They're looking pretty good. Like I said, you sit so much lower in the car. Uh, with these seats in here, it's amazing. So do not regret this decision whatsoever plus like i said it is like a uh, 36 37 pound weight loss if that even means anything or if that even correlates to any kind of gain i don't know if y'all can see me or not <laughs> nope all right i don't know if y'all can see me but uh i did order some cool over uh, spanner wrenches to lower this thing back down or shit not lower it can't get no lower but uh to raise it up that way it's actually drivable and uh they should be here tomorrow. I don't know if they'll be here in time because uh, we're going to be focusing on the Vic the majority of the day because uh, we got a huge checklist we got to go over with this thing. I think it ate another belt, so we'll see. Um, we're just going to nut and bolt it, check the fluids, make sure everything's tight because uh, we do have a drift event Saturday morning that we're going to take this thing to. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Fingers crossed it actually does okay. Uh, it needs control arm bushings bad. This thing wheel hops like this thing wheel hops like nothing else. I've never seen anything like it. We uh we threw some different tires and wheels on there and aired them up to I think like 50 pounds and uh, it done a lot better. Uh, you know they don't fill out the wheel well as good, but they ain't sunk in as bad as I thought they'd be. So, like I said, be on the lookout for that drift event. Hopefully it goes well. But other than that, I'm going to end this video off here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Maybe you like these seats. Maybe you'd want to do them yourself. Uh, maybe y'all can improve on my design. Like I said, it's not, uh, it's not the greatest, but they're in there and they're, uh, they're pretty sturdy. So, until next time, fuck, peace.